Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video, and in today's video, we're going to be doing some repackaged stuff. So, guys, I went to the flea markets yesterday. <sighs> Unfortunately, they didn't have anything. They didn't have anything repackaged. They didn't have anything that was fake. They had some real ones, but they were oh, regular retail price, so I just kind of left it. I, I wasn't going to get anything. But it kind of sparked an idea, and that's why I have all of the stuff on the ground over there. I got out all my old tins, the stuff that I actually did get back in the day that was repackaged and everything from the flea markets. I was like, well, I can just make some custom stuff up. So we're going to be doing some repackaged stuff today. And I have made up some custom Pokemon tins because check that out. So we did get all of those big tins that you can see back there. I opened up a few, cracked some of the packs, got them out, and now I've kind of made the, I have no idea what's in what in here. I can't remember, I have absolutely no idea. But we have five of these repackaged things, and I'm gonna quote these at around probably 10 to 15, probably $15 Australian. That's because they got two boost packs in them each. They have a pin, and then they have a Charizard card, because that's the theme. The theme is Charizard, because Charizard is like the big, the big star of the, Pokemon world right now. He is the one that is tanking everything. So we're gonna we're gonna use him and we're gonna I'm gonna showcase some of the ones that I already have pulled back in the past, some that I have showcased before, some that I've pulled on the channel, and some that I haven't pulled on the channel. And we'll kinda I'll kinda give you guys like a background detail of where I got these ones and how I pulled them because it was really cool and it's just a way to showcase these cards to you guys who are new or the newer subscribers or the older subscribers who have seen me pull these and just want to see these cards again. But we're going to get into these ones. We have all of these different ones and the interesting thing is I've changed it up. So like say the quick ball here, it's got a dusk ball top and I just thought it'd be a bit more interesting, a little bit, little bit of a custom theme to this opening. So we're gonna get into these ones. Two packs each, so we are gonna be opening 10 packs today, which is gonna be cool. They range from like Primal Clash all the way through to Darkness Blaze. And I think there's a Darkness of Blaze in every pack, in every one of these. So we do have that chance of pulling that Charizard VMAX, which I am super, super, super excited to get if we can. But yeah, I'll be showcasing each individual box and hopefully we can get well, well, the goal is to get a Charizard, but in, in the case of if we don't, we get one in every single pack. So let's go into the first one. So we get a pin in every one, and in this first one we get this, oh, I remember this one. So this came with the original Sun and Moon, like the collector's item where you get the hard case, and then the game as well. So this came with that one, and it's just like the Sun and Moon pin right there, which is pretty cool. Check that one out. Put that one back in the tin. So this one has a Sword and Shield, or Sun and Moon base set, sorry. And it has the Charizard full art that we did get from our Flash Fire booster box. Back in the day, this one's such a nice looking card. I absolutely love this one, and that's why I've kind of showcased it for you guys today. But yeah, well, we got that one from Wild's Department Store out of a booster box that we opened from them, as well as, yeah, we got the, the, all the Darkness of Blaze were supplied by Wild's Department Store back in the day as well. So yeah, let's get it. So this is, this is the Pokeball that we opened. So it's got a Quick Ball bottom and it's got a Dust Ball top, which I thought was pretty cool. And it makes for like a good, a good picture because it, it looks really cool. Alrighty, let's get into this first booster pack. It's just a base set Sun and Moon. So we do have the chances at getting the Ultra Ball. There's a code card for you guys. We'll chuck that one off to the side and we're gonna say water energy. Oh, we're at a lightning energy. Alrighty, so the first one, we have a Toracat, a Potion, oh, I missed one, a Trumbeak, a Stuffle, a Wingull, a Dratini, a Lillipop, a Bonsuite, Pelipot, Reverse Hollow, and, oh, a Lapras GX. So nice, what a good first, what a good first pull. Check that one out, a Lapras GX for the first pull today. And we're going to be using these Charizard sleeves just because it is the theme of today's opening. So we'll put that one straight in that Charizard sleeve. Nice looking sleeves, there's that. There's a look at that sleeve back from 2015. Put that one at the back. Nice, nice way to start off this opening guys. So we got Darkness Blaze with Charizard VMAX on the cover. Let's see if we can get this Charizard VMAX. 
There is a code card for you guys. I have not pulled the Charizard V Max, and we're going to say fire. Oh, it is metal energy. So I have not pulled the Charizard V Max yet, but that is not saying that we can't pull it right now. Let's go. We have a Larvestia, a Morlol, Toxel, a Skitty, Galarian Dorymarker, and oh, a Eternus V! What the heck? Dude, two packs in a row. The first one is fire. Wow. Check that one out. That's awesome. I don't actually have that one yet. Oh god. If we if this is right, we're gonna lose. We're gonna use all of these all of these sleeves. We'll chuck that one in the Charizard sleeve. Maybe it's just Charizard Charizard luck today. Could be. So that was the first one. So we'll put that one to the side. I'm gonna put these ones over there. And we're gonna get straight into the next one. So we got this dive ball and dusk ball. So I thought this one was a pretty cool mix because I absolutely love the dive balls. They're such a good art and I love the dusk balls. So may as well join them together and see what we get. So let's see. I can't remember what's actually in this one because I've sandwiched them in between, in between the two booster packs. But we do have this Genesect pin back from... The, I believe these were from Generations. This one is like faded completely. That's so weird. How long ago was that from? It would have been like from 2016 or something like that. But yeah, that Genesec pin. Make up this one. This one's awesome. Guys, if we can get this video up to like 30 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. I, I would absolutely really appreciate that. But we have a Sword and Shield regular booster pack just from um, this uh, Sun and Moon base set. Oh, Sword and Shield base set, sorry. And, oh, the Charizard that we pulled in yesterday's video, or the day before yesterday's. Uh, spoiler alert, but yeah, I thought I wouldn't get the one out of my um, out of my set binder. I would get this one, just because I may as well showcase it to you guys who didn't see it from the other day. But yeah, we got the Charizard, just a hollow foil. This one is worth oh, roughly around $150. That one's worth around $100, you know. De depending on the PSA grade, obviously they can go up substantially with like PSA 10. I'm pretty sure those ones are going for like a thousand dollars, and then the other ones are going for a pretty penny, also se several hundred dollars, you know. So, all right, so we have a lightning energy, and we have a thwacky, a pocket gear point three or 3.0, a aurora energy, a storm, more lol, or more while, sorry, a ooh, a gross blur. A Goldeen, Diglett, a Krabby Reverse Hollow, and oh, a Galarian Perisic or Perisirca. Okay, that's a Hollow Foil. So that is another. That is another pull. That is. Oh, I'm gonna run out of. I'm gonna run out of coat. I'll oh, run out of sleeves. So we're gonna use another Charizard sleeve. This is like the Charizard Holy Grail opening because we uh, we built a shrine. We've built. <laughs> Well, not really a shrine, but we've built we built this whole opening around Charizard, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can pull it. Could you imagine? We got evolutions in in some of these as well. I believe I can't remember how many. If it's like one or if it's two of them. There is a code card for you guys. There we go. Get the one out of here. We'll go lightning again. Darkness energy. So we have a Laron, a Parasect, Spike Mu. A Snubble, Tauros, a Rookie D, a Larian or Galarian Mr. Mime, a Electric, Morlo Reverse Holo, and a Arctivish. Okay, not too bad. Just a regular rare there. Where's all the good pulls at? Ah, just kidding. We've already pulled them all. We've pulled all the good stuff. Alrighty, so let's go into the next one. We're gonna we're gonna jump into this Quick Ball slash Poke Ball. Check that one out. It looks so cool. I can't remember what's in here. Okay, okay, so we got some Primal Clash in that one. That was the first one. Okay, and the pin that we're showcasing today is the Dark Rye pin from the Generations box. I remember these. I opened up so many of these. I don't know how many of you guys opened back in 2016 or even through recent, but from 2016, I opened up a lot of these. I've still got a whole set of every single generations pack that there was except for the elite trainer box but yeah so that's that one bit of backstory about that and let's see what of what card we got so we got the primal clash not bad at all 
And then we got the base set Charizard from CP6. This is the first edition one back from 2016. So it's the 20th anniversary. This is Evolutions, but in, um, in Japanese. And this is like the most crispest card ever. Check that one out. Such a nice card. First edition as well. I got two of these, which is so cool. But yeah, that's so cool. Just pulled these out of out of boxes that I, I got on eBay. But we're gonna go. We'll go with Promo Clash last because Promo Clash, it's it, it's it's definitely a rarer set these days. There is a code card. Let's see if we can get a Charizard. We're gonna say Fire Energy because we got the. Oh, that's that's the one. Come on, this this has to be the one. So we have Fire Energy, a Laron, Parasect, a Spike Moth, a Toxel. Skitty, a Rowlet, Wishy Washy, and I see something back there. I am, I am like sweating because that's insane. We have a Hooper Reverse Holo Rare and a Butterfree V regular, uh, regular V card. Not bad at all, right there. Man, we're getting some fire pulls from this opening. This is absolutely awesome. We're gonna end up using all of these, um, all of these Charizard sleeves, the old, the man, the myth, the legend right there. So we'll chuck that one at the back and let's go. We have Promo Clash. I haven't opened up Promo Clash in a while, except for the other day when we got these. Surprisingly, I, did, I was not expecting it in these boxes or in, the, in these Pokeball tins, but we did get Promo Clash, which is so awesome. Back. Promo Clash Booster Box or Booster Pack. That's awesome. So what is it? Three and two. And let's get into this one. Promo Clash. Throw it back. How many of you guys remember Promo Clash? Such a good set. Absolutely love it. So we have a Surskit, Barboach, a Zigazagoon, a Groudon Spirit Link, Nidorina, a Celio, Zigazagoon Reverse Holo, and a Hippowdon Holo, actually. Nice, so we did get a holo foil in that in that pack. Not bad at all. Definitely was that Yeah, we got something in the first pack. That's another 10 out of 10 tin. That's awesome. We've done so well. Out of three out of so six packs so far, we've gotten three. We've only gotten one one regular rare. This is insane. This is insane pulls. This is insane guys. I'll do a bigger recap at the end and recap all the Charizards because so you guys can see them in better, obviously. So let's go with this one over here. So we have a Premier Ball and the Dive Ball combo right there. So check that out. It's pretty pretty standard, but it just looks so cool with the Premier Ball top. And what's gonna be oh, so we got evolutions in this one. I don't know what what um, mystery cards on the inside. Obviously a Charizard, but will it be the old school one or will it be the new one? Who knows? So there's that. So we got an Arceus from Generations pin in here. And again, I got all of these Generations pins from just all of the stuff that I opened back in the day. I have so many of these. Crazy. And what, what one is it going to be? So it is the one that we got the other day. Nice. So Mega Charizard EX Full R, we got in in that error pack that we pulled two Ultra Rares, which I've never seen before, but we got that Mega Charizard. So this this one, yeah, I didn't dig into the set binder. <laughs> Still got the set binder intact. But yeah, that Mega Charizard. This one was just cool because we got it in an error pack. So we'll put that one at the back. I really didn't think this through. We're going to run out of room at the back. We'll use it. So this one, we, we have a double chance at pulling a Charizard in these packs. But will we do it? Who knows? And I think I saw something. What is going on? Why are, why are all these ones so good? I'm going to say Fire Energy. We have a Psychic Energy. Now let's go. We have a Rose, a Vanillish, a Poltergeist, a Wishy Washy, Kufant, a Dino, Pansia. We have a Mareep, a Jigglypuff, and... A Sizzle V Max, so good. Oh, check that one out. Sizzle V Max, that is awesome. So, not not only was it just not another ultra rare, it was a V Max full art. Nice. 
Not the VMAX that we wanted, but a VMAX nonetheless. And I will not complain with a Sizzle VMAX because that looks absolutely beautiful. Chuck that one in a, in a Charizard sleeve. I'm going to use these sleeves. I'm going to have to get some more because I need to use these for all of these because that is awesome. That is so... I have no idea how we're doing so well. This is insane because you can't search these packs. It, it's unsearchable. So it's mainly just... We're getting insane pulls. Alrighty. We have a Charizard... We have a Ch Mega Charizard pack on, on, or Mega Charizard on the cover. And there is a code card. Let's see if we can get some of the Mega Charizard luck out of that. So we have a, a seal. I love the art in this. So nice. Tangela, a Voltorb, a Fairy Energy, Pokedex, a Potion, Magma, a Electabuzz Common Reverse Holo, and... A electrode regular rare to finish off that pack so that is the insane insane out of eight packs that is a second regular rare and I think we've only got two hollows so far yeah two hollows and that is the second regular rare so not not all but this is the last tin for now for now for this video we have this quick ball and the dusk ball tin like the first one we opened up nice looking combo there and I can't remember what card's on the inside. Ooh, ooh, we got Burning Shadows to begin with. And ooh, nice looking Mew, Mew pin right there. Cool. Put that one aside. Those ones were just from the, that was the first generations that ever came out. That was the first one that ever dropped. And I think I bought like 10, 10 of them or maybe eight of them or something like that. So the packs we get, Burning Shadows. Oh, that's this one. Oh, I forgot I put this in. Oh my God. So EX Power Keepers, back in the day. So I did pull this one. This one is a great looking card. It's got a little bit of edge wear right there at the bottom on the corners. But other than that, the card is perfect. So I got this one from a booster pack. This is back probably, oh, how long ago would it have been? Maybe like seven, eight, eight years ago or something like that. Maybe seven years ago when I was in grade 12 in high school. So I went up to, oh, where did I go? I went to Harvey Bay and the IGA there, right? I think the latest set was like, um, the latest set was, what was it? Legendary Treasures at the time and, or XY base set just came out and they legit, so I didn't know much about Pokemon cards. I only just started. And I had, we, this is bringing back so many memories. I went to the IGA, saw that they had like a little case full of Pokemon cards. And the, the oldest one in there was this one, EX Power Keepers. And I only had a few dollars. They were $3 Australian each. That is, that is this much on the screen. It's about a dollar something, dollar 80 or dollar 90 US, insane. But that was that for that. Insane. Absolutely insane. I got three packs. I got a Shift Tree EX and this Charizard Hollow. I traded the Shift Tree years and years and years ago. And then I kept this Charizard Hollow. But it was insane. They had um, Misty, or no, what was it? Um, what was it? Majestic Dawn. They had that in there. They had all of like Diamond and Pearl. They had so many. And if, if I knew what I knew now, I would have bought all of them, regardless of the money I had. I would have borrowed money from my parents. I would have just, it wouldn't have been very much. It would have been like maybe $50 to buy all of them. But <sighs> you just can't win, guys. You just can't win. So who, who, who would have known? And I had no idea about all of the oldest stuff. I had no idea about any of that. So... I, I guess I guess we learned, but I did get I did get that Charizard and I did get the Shift Tree EX. So it was just insane. Then I went like a year later and they had all the new stuff. They had none of that stuff. So someone's obviously gone and cleaned them out. But oh, it was just it's insane seeing that and, and at IGA. That's just like a normal I don't know Walmart. No, it's like a normal like um just like oh what would you call it? Just like one of those. So say you got like your Woolworths and you got your WalMarts and I don't know whatever. And then you go to like one of those cheapy ones on the corner, but they're everywhere still. We got them in Australia and that's, that's what that is. Everyone knows what an IGA is, but all you guys who don't know what an IGA is, it's kind of just like your, 
I guess, great value stores that aren't the big stores. So last pack of today's video, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video so far. And just before I get into this, I'm gonna have to cut it because we're gonna lose the this because this only records for 21 minutes in this. So, alrighty, we are back. But let's get into this pack. Last pack, come on, can we get absolutely anything? Last pack magic, we can do this. I'm gonna say fire because we are gunning for that hyper rare Charizard in this pack. Come on, so we have a lightning energy. I did say fire, but who knows. We have a Wabafet, Electrike, a Wimpod, Togedemaru, a Sork, Mudbray, a Oddish, a Alolan Raticate, and a Lucario Holo to finish that one off with. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. So we need another one of these, of these. What, why, why did that just happen? That was, that was insane. So out of all of those packs, I got three regular rares. Just three, all right? Well, this is gonna be an awesome recap. So, we got the Galarian Perisica, or Perisica. We got the Hippowdon from Primal Clash, back in the day, once again. We have that Lucario Holo. We have a Sizzle V Max, check that one out. Such a nice looking card, so cool. We have the Eternus V. We have a Lapras GX. Oh, so cool. And then we have that Butterfree V. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. I honestly can't believe that. Check those ones out. Such a cool, such a cool card. Such a cool card. Guys, if you guys did enjoy this video as much as I did, oh, this was absolutely insane. I can't believe what just happened. There's all the Charizards back. Oh, such a nice, such a nice thing. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Let's get this video up to 30 likes. I know we can do it. I know you guys can do it because you guys absolutely smashed the like button and absolutely tanked these videos. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys in my next Pokemon video and peace out.